Undone by the Guess Who. That was Undone by the Guess Who. Randy Bachman, really some great playing on that one. I was listening to one of those uh, custom uh, radio stations that they have on Google Play, and this came up, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I, I never learned this one. I'm going to have some fun playing it, and I did, and I want to share it with you anyway. No way do I claim that this is exactly what's off the record, but I think it's pretty close in terms of the harmony and what's really fun about it is there's about a zillion different voicings that you can do for all these different chords. I'll show you one or a couple of them, and uh, hopefully you can have fun with it. All right. Well, if you like this one, click the like button or the thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe for one of these every week. We're going to do this close up in just a second. Okay, gang, let's go over this in some detail. Now, I say some detail, not note for note, because I'm not going to do it note for note. That would be tough. I would play this differently every time, guarantee it. Um, there's just so many different permutations and variations that you can use. However, I do want to give you a flavor of that, and so I have tabbed up some of the voicings that I've used for the chords down below. All right, so let's get to it. Let's do the first part right here. Right. So what's going on there? Well, um, pretty simple. What we're doing is we're playing a C triad, but for the fifth, you want to flatten that. So just extend it like that. So I that note right there. So we've got on a D string, we've got 10, G9, and B7. And then for the next one, you just slide down your top two fingers there. So you've got D8, uh, D9, G8, and B7, right? Now this song is a song that's in harmonic, it's, it's in E harmonic minor, and it's that B that gives it that flavor. Right, it's that B that gives it that flavor. So um, anyway, so that's what's going on, and uh, you can practice that. That's not too hard. It's very iconic, but it also appears in a another um, another song of the era. Joni Mitchell's "Urge for Going" has that chord in there, uh, or that transition. So anyway, interesting note. Now you can play that anywhere you want. For example, you can play it up here. Here's a C triad right here. We're gonna flatten that fifth. Right, go from here to here. Sounds very similar. You can even, if you want to, you can play it up here. Right? I don't like that one. It's a little bit harder to finger. All right, so that's it. That's the beginning part. Second part is basically the following. It's going to sound somewhat like this.
Okay, a lot of stuff going on there, but basically we're just transitioning from an E minor seven to an A seven to a, to a G. That's the beginning part. All right, so to do that, what I'm playing is this. And what's, what's interesting, I think, is I'm trying to keep this note right here intact, which is a top, the top voicing on this G. All right, so that's what's going on. That's what I'm trying to do. I should mention, I'm playing with pick and fingers. All right, the most important thing is the fingers. So I'm pulling up with my second and third fingers on the strings that, you know, usually the second and third strings on this. Occasionally the first string. All right, so the first thing we're going to go from E minor 7. I'm going to show you this voicing right here. Uh, you're probably used to this one, which, by the way, if you like that, you want to stay with that, that's fine. That's another one you can use. Here's just another one. So this is A7, D5, G7, B8. Nice voicing. And now I'm going to this A7. So I'm playing the, the sixth string and then the, uh, the third and the second string. On the third string, the G string, I'm playing six. And on the top string, I'm playing eight. But the key thing is this right here is what's going on on that second and third string. Right? That right there. And then you play a G. And again, I'm voicing the top voice. I'm trying to play that, that G. You'll notice that's the same right here. All right, so it goes like this. Now I'm going to play an F minor 7, uh, and which is really kind of acting like a suspended chord, suspended a B suspended fourth, um, and then coming down to just a regular B, or B7, right? So right here, so I am playing the sixth string. And then when I play like this, it's uh, on the fourth string. It's a uh, it's the fourth, D four, G two, and E five. And then the only difference between that one and the next one is I'm playing the on the second string going from five to four. On the bass, I'm playing this B instead of this F. All right. All right, so that's that part. And then um, we'll do it again. Um, but this time we'll go to a C. And I'm here I'm playing on the top three strings, five, five, and three. All right, and then to G. Okay, and that one is. So you can see what happens is I'm, I'm playing the suspended. Let's see if I can show you that clearly. The key notes are um, going from five, five on the four and three strings to five and four on the four and three strings. That's the key. Those are the key notes. But I'm also playing the rest of it in this G chord. And then this is just going from C triad, top three strings, five, five, three, to four, four, two. All right. So there's lots of funny voicings in that. But basically, we're just going from an E minor 7, A7 to G, F minor 7 to B7, F minor 7, C, G, C, 
B. That's all it is, okay? So there's lots of different ways that you can play that. You can play, for example, the second time around I played it, I think I still did the same part in the beginning. But now I did the F sharp, I said F minor seven, it's F sharp minor seven, my goodness. Now, the second time around, I think I played the F sharp minor seven up here. And then I played the B here. And again, I'm playing that suspended. All right. And, uh, and then the second time, F minor seven. And here I just kind of go up. And instead of playing a C triad, I'm just playing an A minor seventh kind of. Actually, I'm playing a C triad there. Then to your G. Now, I played that one because I hear that's, that uh, phrase in there. And that's just really... You can play that a lot of different places on the neck, but here I'm playing this from this G triad, right? From from this G with the with the note on the tenth, right? On the fifth string, that's that's that that G chord. I'm playing the this line, which is 13, 12, 10, 13, 12. You might have to change your fingering to do that. All right, so that's that part, and you play that a couple times, and uh, I think that's about it. Now, the only different part in this is the James Bond type of middle part like this, and uh, at least this is how I play it. up in the beginning too uh, or in the the demo I messed up once um, sorry about that happens in any event um, what I'm doing there is it's going basically on an E minor chord so I'm playing the sixth and the fifth on an E minor chord and then the first string now you'll notice I'm playing with pick and fingers again I'm playing the pick on the bass notes and I'm playing uh, on the second and first string I'm just playing those open the whole time and picking them with my third and fourth and uh, my second and third fingers. All right, so that's what's going on. Um, and I'm going from, I'm going from, uh, so I'm starting from this B on the, on the uh, second, on the second fret fifth string, or on the second fret on the E string. And then you go to C and then you go to C sharp and you kind of walk down. to that one it's actually pretty common progression you hear that quite often all right and then to the just to the end it it kind of goes back into the original riff and then you heard my feeble attempt at singing Burton Cummings boy does that guy ever go high I can't go that high all right she's come undone and then it just goes your normal, the, uh, the E minor 7 to A7 to G. And then we're going to go F, F sharp 7, F, and E minor, right? So I'm just playing the top three strings, 12, 12, 12. That's it. All right. All right, gang, there you have it. Randy Bachman with the Guess Who. Uh, great song, great little, uh, great chord changes, real fun one to do. All right, we'll see you on down the road.